In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to so Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in, and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Cast your kindly light upon your faithful, Lord, we pray, and with the splendor of your glory, set their hearts ever aflame, that they may never cease to acknowledge their Savior, and may truly hold fast to Him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Unlike Cain, who belonged to the evil one, and slaughtered his brother. Why did he slaughter him? Because his own works were evil, and those of his brother righteous. Do not be amazed, then, brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life, because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means sees a brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth 
and reassure our hearts before Him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, His we are. His people, the, black, the flock He tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him, bless His name. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please all stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Ilang araw pa lang ang nakalilipas ng ipagdiwang natin ang Pasko, ang kapanganakan ng ating Panginoong Hesus. At ngayon, nasa ikalimang araw na tayo ng Enero at nasa loob pa rin ng Kapaskuhan. Kaya napakagandang tanungin natin ang ating mga sarili. Do we still feel the joy of knowing Jesus? Do we still feel the joy of knowing Jesus? Masaya ba tayo na nakilala natin si Jesus? Masaya ba tayo na natagpuan natin siya sa ating buhay? As we know Jesus and recognize His presence in our life, we also ask ourselves, do we follow Him? Because knowing Him is not enough. We have to follow Him. Napakaraming nagsasabi na kilala nila ang ating Panginoon. Pero sa lungat naman dito, ang kanilang pamumuhay. Napakahalaga mga minamahal ko mga kapatid na kung nakilala natin si Jesus, kung nagkaroon tayo ng encounter with the Lord, nakikita ito sa ating buhay, nagre-reflect ito sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. Jesus is inviting us as He invited Philip, Come, follow me. He is calling us to follow Him and learn, and learn from Him in a lifelong journey of faith to be His disciples. And that encounter and journey with Jesus will lead us to bring others to Him. Dahil kung kilala talaga natin si Jesus, tayo ay magiging instrumento ng Diyos para ilapit ang mga tao sa Kanya. At hindi tayo ang magiging dahilan ng paglayo, ng pag-alis o pandalamig ng ating kapwa sa simbahan at sa ating pananampalataya. When Philip followed Jesus, the first thing he did was find Nathanael and told him what happened. He said, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote. Philip told Nathanael that he found the Messiah. He shared the joy and truth of knowing Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue to reflect on this gospel passage, may our love for Jesus influence and inspire others to be closer to Him, to know, to follow, and to love Him. Let us all be followers and disciples of Jesus. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets.
Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, through, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. Who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Gilbert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering. Oh, God. 
please all stand. Let us pray. God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may made uh, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietrelcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless, and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus, the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated. Para po sa ilang paalala, una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay, at maayos sa pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi ng inyong kaunting oras at pakikisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa pambansang Dambana. Para naman po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW, at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, bukas araw ng Sabado, ikaanim ng Enero, ay unang Sabado ng buwan. Meron po tayong prosesyon sa karangalan ng Mahal na Birhen sa ganap na ikalima ng umaga na sisimulan natin sa may harap ng Fountain of Hope. Ang mga sasamay inaanyayahang magdala ng kandila. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na pong lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Amen. Ama namin sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. 
at huwag mo kami ipentulot sa tukso, at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat, at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, panalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasa langit ka, sambahin ng ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para ng salangit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw, at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad namin sa nakakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipaintulot sa tukso, at iadya mo kami sa lahat na masama. Amen. Abagin o Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat, at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus, Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, panalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sama, sana at sa Espiritu Santo, Kapara nung una ngayon at magpasa walang hanggan. Amen. Luwalhati sama, sana ka sa Espiritu Santo. Kapara nung una ngayon at magpasa walang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth be saved, her Let every heart prepare in room, and never the nature seek, and never the nature seek, and heaven and heaven and.